Good morning, folks. We've got to hit the surging sun, solar forcing, cosmological physics, and a run of disaster articles as well. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the sun has become a beacon of brightness in 193 angstroms of light. Many active regions peppering the north and the south, and they have continued their mid-level solar flaring and production of minor CMEs. You can see the flares here on the GOES X-ray flux, fairly consistent at this stage. The flare points aren't confined either. The wealth is being shared by the active regions as they took a hard left turn from their decay path over the weekend. The southern sunspots started to fade, but built back batter with bitingly fast flares and trailing spots are following suit. Right now, the new spot on the south is the largest and the ugliest. Enlil Spiral shows initial impact tomorrow on the 23rd, but there are likely fainter waves behind that as well eyes on the sun. Memory required here, recalling our recent climate mini-series and the solar control of climatological and shorter-term meteorological parameters. It's actually a two-in-one here as the aurora to low latitude forcing is hit once again, with the cherry on top being geomagnetic forcing of thermospheric density and winds. Folks, imagine your mortal enemy admits their entire paradigm is nonsense then tells you it doesn't matter because they have magical little fairies that make them right and you wrong. Yes, this is saying we don't need new magic particles for dark matter. Then they go right ahead and put the blame on something they couldn't understand any less. I still consider this a step in the right direction. We do need to ditch the mysterious made-up particles. Then, we can see about the high-energy density plasma and astrophysical magnetic fields. Let's jump to disaster, where up first is a fantastic paper on the Dansgaard, Oshkar, and Heinrich events as they pertain to India, and how major monsoonal patterns show up with those major cyclical events. It also shows how localized some of the effects can be with the east versus the west in the country, seeing vastly different environmental responses to the major cyclical force and conditions. Folks, we have thrice seen major studies now peg supreme global warming in the time right before the last geomagnetic excursion. That's what they've got here, including a 60% jump in the glacial retreat right before that disaster. And to get up to that 60%, you need much more warming in the final days of the last age than we've seen in these days here leading up to the next one. Regarding the last one, they have discovered it in a place nobody thought the evidence for it existed. It not only speaks to how difficult it is to spot these events, but when they found the cave habitation and many bison bones, it speaks to the sheltered necessity sought by those ancient people and the animals. And last but not least, I know there's nine days left in the year, but it's hard to imagine we won't be calling this the best paper of the year focused on that very last disaster. Not only because they focus on the Gothenburg geomagnetic excursion, rather than its younger, driest climate effects, and not only because it is one of the first signals of that disaster from this part of Russia, making it a more global event than just the Americas, but they identify the development of a forest under that pre-disaster global warming, abruptly punctuated by the sudden mass death of the trees in a major flood. Geez, that sounds familiar. Get our textbooks on this material in PDF form at otf.cells.com. Hard copies will be returning by the beginning of the year. There are only nine days for observers to get their names on the Observer Ranch founder wall, put a piece of you at the home of the observers for the duration of the age. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.